All right, so let's first talk about PMI and NDT and basic alloy quality control. So here's how the 550 handles that. This is largely targeting the PMI guys. So when you turn the unit on, first of all, let's talk about the shape of the unit. Very narrow snout, less than an inch, 0.8 inches wide to be exact, and a nice long taper. We designed it that way deliberately for great accessibility into difficult to reach welds, flanges, other locations. Secondly, you got the heat sinks here and here, so you can use it all day long in really hot climates without the device overheating. But the other thing we did is we really made this a, an NDT purpose-built analyzer. So you turn it on, you have your Android operating system. When you press analyze, what you'll see is you get three apps show up. Alloy, residuals, sulfitic corrosion. Now, as new applications come up, we can add those. But the point of this is if you're just doing general PMI, verifying alloy chemistry and grade, use alloy. You tap that, you shoot stuff, you get your answers. For example, let's take something that everybody knows and loves. Simple 316, you get it in one second, you get your chemistry. That's all done. You get your grade ID up at the top, you get your chemistry, you're good. So, however, what we're seeing more and more of in PMI especially is low RE material, residuals. So what we did is we created a dedicated app for that. Therefore, the, the testing time is preset because for those low RE materials where you're looking at 0 0.02, 0 0.03, nickel, chromium, copper, below 0 0.02, niobium, and vanadium, you, you don't want to do two-second tests. You're going to have to test a little longer to measure those concentrations precisely. So instead of the operator having to remember to change their test time, or worse yet, forgetting and coming back with bad data and having to repeat the testing, we put that into a dedicated app. So you tap residuals, and it is pre-configured to be perfectly optimized for residuals. As you'll see, the user interface is too. So now when you test a residual material, it tests to a preset time, and what you see at the top is it's showing the five residual metals, chrome, nickel, copper, vanadium, and niobium. And then the top two lines are showing the formulas. C and C is chrome plus nickel plus copper. And NBV is niobium plus vanadium. So it sums the concentrations. And you'll see from here, this is a one that would pass a low RE because it's using chrome, copper, nickel. The sum is 0 0.096, which is below 0.15, so you're good to go. Niobium plus vanadium would fail because the um, vanadium is nice and low, but the niobium is rather high on that, O4. But the point is it shows you the sum, the two residual formulas. It shows you the values. And since it's x-ray, it's always going to use chrome in that C and C formula. Why? Because if carbon is greater than 0.18%, you have to include chrome. X-ray doesn't measure chrome. So we so we include it by default. So that's your residuals app for PMI. Set up to really be um, optimal to do residuals work in these HF Alki processes. Uh, the second thing, now let's, let's go back to our home screen. The second one you'll see on there is sulfitic corrosion. Yeah, so we'll tap that. Now sulfitic corrosion, you're looking at less than 0.1% silicon in a steel. So for sulfitic corrosion with x-ray, you need to do a two-beam test. The first beam to identify it's a steel, the second beam to measure the silicon. So same story for this app, we set up it to be optimal for that application. So the operator doesn't have to remember to do a two-beam test or change test times or things like that. Again, you don't want to risk the operator going out, setting the unit up wrong, coming back with bad data, and having to repeat the testing. So we put all that in a dedicated app. So for sulfitic corrosion, you see how fast this unit is. And on silicon, it does about a one second test to make sure it's a steel. And then it flips to the second beam. And you'll see in just a couple of seconds that silicon around 0.09 comes right in, in about two or three seconds. So it's lightning fast on silicon in that second beam. So that's why this has been really a popular unit because it's got the residuals built in. It's got the sulfitic corrosion app set up correctly 
And more importantly, it's really fast on silicon. It'll do that silicon in a couple of seconds, as you just saw. Um, so that's it. That's the PMI version of the gun. Again, long, narrow snout, metal frame for really good durability and heat resistance. And on the front end, the normal window is proline. Uh, if you break the window, you simply pop it out with a tool we provide. But if you are doing in-service PMI on materials in excess of about 250 C, um, we do include a thin Kapton window to use instead. Kapton has a melting point of, of above, up, you know, more than 450 C. So if you're doing really hot in-service work, use the Kapton. And that's it. That's your PMI gun. <laughs>